Hey there, I'm Roxanne Webster. And I'm Keith Alba. We are the owners and partners of my home team at Keller Williams. That's right. And you've tuned in for another episode of The, the Honest, Honest Hour. Hour. Only it's really more like an honest five minutes. Yeah, right? it's going to be quick, we promise. We haven't gone up to 60 minutes yet. We have not gone. We could. We could absolutely. We could get a little long in the tooth, but you know, uh, yeah. we won't this time. My father used to say, get out of the spotlight, I smell burning ham. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, here, so you invite us over to your house, one or both of us, to talk about um, maybe selling it. Um, and, and, and one of the things that we have, have seen over the years is, um, I mean, God, I always walk through the property with you, right? You're asking me to sell a three quarters of a million or a million or two million or five million dollar house. And it's come to my attention that a lot of agents kind of think that's a waste of time. Yes, in fact, there's some people out there training on that exact thing, right? Which is mind-boggling to it's me. It's mind-boggling. Yeah. You're going to hear me say a lot over the next few months that I hear McDonald's is, buyer, uh, is hiring. Shut up! <laughs> so, let's, I guess we're going to go to basics. Why do we do a walkthrough with the seller of the property when we're on it? And why is it that important? I break it into three um, three buckets, right? Um, first is rapport, second is telling you what you could spend on this house to maximize your profits, and then the third is establishing expectations around items that may need to be repaired in the course of the inspection. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's important, well, it's baffling again back to not doing this walkthrough, right? You as the seller have been living in this home for a certain number of years, and maybe right. two, and maybe up to ten or more, right? There was a reason you bought it, there's reasons that uh, you love that property, that you stayed in it for so many years, all of those sorts of things is information for me that's going to help me market and sell the property. What are the highlight? What are the things that, that triggered you to buy it? It's probably going to be applicable to other people that are out there. And if I'm not spending the time to walk through the house and have these conversations with the seller, I'm not going to get that information and then I'm trying to figure out what it is, is the best features and highlights of this property. And I know that it's this is going to really surprise you. This is really hard to believe. There may be some people who decide they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's always possible. We're talking about working in partnership with somebody to sell what is for most of us their most significant asset. So you need to walk out of that appointment feeling some rapport, feeling some trust, feeling um, confidence, confidence yeah. that this person is competent, right? And uh, if I'm just walking into your house, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, let's go over this and get a signature, that doesn't take that time. I want to get to know your house and as I'm getting to know your house I'm getting to know something about you and vice versa and that helps us make a decision not just on a competence level um, but also on a level of, of, um, of personal connection because we're working closely together. Absolutely. To Every seller's in a different type of a situation, right? What is it that has brought them to this point where they're considering selling that property, right? That's information that I need to know as the listing agent. You know, are we gonna get a little bit more aggressive on pricing because they need to be out and then have a deadline at a certain point? Or is it really maximizing the profits and then, okay, let's spend a little more time and, and maybe polish up the house a little bit so that it is giving that great eye feel when the buyer comes through that front door. That's right. All of those things, I can't just get in the first two minutes of meeting with somebody. I That's need right. to have that time. I need to ask the per pertinent questions and figure out exactly what it is and what about that property um, are going to be the highest. And there are things when we're doing that walkthrough that, that um, I often get the question, it, should I spend the money to update this bathroom? Should I spend the money to do this? Should I spend the money to do that? And they're going to be, we've sold enough homes and we've looked at enough homes that we can walk through and say, look, if you had two years before you were going to list and sell this house, you would recoup the money, the monies, you'd likely recoup the monies that you'd put into a large remodel of the kitchen. But if we're looking at doing this thing in 90 days, you're not likely to. However, you could spruce it up a little bit with this, this, this backsplash and a new counter, right? We can help you determine the, sm the wise money to spend so that it's, it's, um, it's more marketable and that when that buyer walks through, they, they feel sometimes just a good spit cleaning and a coat of paint right can do wonders for the value of the house because um, it makes it feel cleaner right we get used to our own dirt 
right? I get used to that little rub on the side of the, the smudge at the bottom where my dog lies down. Somebody else walks into my house, they might be disgusted by that. Right. right? Yeah, it's true. I mean, you get kind of callous to it as you're living into the property for the, for that long, seeing it over and over again. But somebody coming in with fresh eyes, it's going to stick out like a spotlight. Uh, so. Well, and here's the other thing too. I think that that a lot of people get so caught up in trying to land the business that they're afraid to give the seller bad news. You know you're selling a used product, right? Um, if I walk in there and tell you I think that this thing is going to sell for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars based upon this data, there's likely to be two or three agents behind me who come in and say the same thing. What a lot of them won't say is, by the way, though, before you start spending that in your head, you got a thirty-year-old furnace in your roof has got hail damage, so I think you're going to need to be prepared that you're going to be spending some some funds on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the purpose of the. You know that walk through it the piece build that rapport talk about the property um and then go through the marketing plan really and what we do differently in order to market the properties and give them to them that's right so subscribe hit the notification button comment if you like this share it with everyone because i'm telling you i'm on a rant these days all of these conversations we're having with you um are telling you the things that we've been doing for 25 years right and now there had to be lawsuits to to discuss what that's worth right and whether or not these conversations are being had transparently so you know if you're not having these conversations with your agent agent if you aren't having these conversations with your clients then i think there's some people who need to get out of business and your people need to call me <laughs> and there you have it there you have it <laughs> all right everybody we'll see you in the next one we'll see you later